In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the temperature map in your weather app on iPhone 12, 13, 11, and all the other ones. First of all, we're going to go down here. We're going to go to this little icon on the bottom, click it. It's going to bring up the weather map. If I go up here, you're going to see there's three little lines with dots on it. When I click that, what it does is it gives me this pull up and I can change the location. I could go to Florence, right? And I can see what the weather is there. I can come back, do the same thing. And you'll notice up here it says temperature. So you can go to any one of these uh, locations that you have uh, added in this app. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's say I want to go to precipitation. All right, let's say I want to go to precipitation. I'll click here, go to precipitation. Now I can come back up here to this icon, click it, and I can look at the precipitation in any of these places. So let's go ahead and look on the side here. Here's one that's raining. So let's go to Pompeii. So there it is. It's showing me that it's raining in Pompeii. All right. So then also I can go I can go <laughs> here and I can change it to air quality. Now I can come up here and I can change the location on air quality. Let's go to uh, some place where they got poor quality. We'll go to Positano. Apparently it's not looking too good there today. Also, if you just want to go back to where um, your location is, you can click, click this arrow at the top and it takes you right back to I'm in Florida. Bam. There I am. Cha-ching. All right. So that's how you can use that. If you're done with it, you just click here and it brings you right back uh, to the uh, uh, weather app. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to use stuff on your iPhone. Peace out.